things started, I am pleased to invite His Excellency Tan Sri Dato Muhammad Arif Mat Yusof, the Speaker of the Dewan Rakyat, to deliver his opening remarks. Please welcome. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, good evening to all. Now, since we have a fairly you know, large number of uh, foreign guests, I might as well start off in English and finish in English. Eh? Um, in the interest of economy of time, this is going to be a, a very short speech and after dinner speech. Um, Touching on the book, or the books, and nothing else. <laughs> uh, 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 um, that will have to wait another day. <laughs> All right. Yang amat mulia Tengku Zain Al Bidin, Ibn Tengku Mukhris, founding president of the IDS. Honorable Dato Rashid Hasnun, deputy speaker of the Dewan Rakyat. Uh, Yang Berhormat Suhaizan Kayat, Speaker of the Johor Legislative State Legislative Council, Datuk Kamis bin Samin, uh, Chief Administrator Parliament of Malaysia, Encik Ridwan, our new SUDR Secretary eh, <laughs> of the Dewan Rakyat, who has replaced. Uh, Datuk Rosmi, uh, who retired very recently, Ridwan got on the job running. Eh? <laughs> he came at the right time, not the wrong time, the right time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Miss Lena Lena Henry, program coordinator of the National Democratic Institute, NDI. So, uh, those of you who have been asking, what is NDI? That's National Democratic Institute. Eh? Uh, Ms. Maha Balakrishnan, a co-author, yeah, who will be delivering a speech herself. Um, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, including my core supporters who are seated here. <laughs> uh, now, it is, of course, a great honour for me here uh, this evening to launch um, a book which uh, should have been written a long time ago. Yeah? Is not a, exactly a book, but it is more a handbook, yeah? a manual uh, entitled The Malaysian Parliamentary Procedure A Guide to the Standing Orders of the Dewan Rakyat. Yeah? Um, first of all, I would like to commend the National Democratic Institute and, of course, the authors of the book, Ms. Monique Smith and uh, Ms. Ms. Maha Balakrishnan. And uh, of course, the program coordinator and the I, Ms. Lena Henry, for their admirable commitment to this project. Yeah? Within such a short space of time, more like perhaps three months, yeah? um, they've managed to produce this book, which is now before you. And everyone will be given a copy, don't worry. Yeah? There's a giveaway present for attending tonight. <laughs> Um, they spoke to me uh, and Dr. Rosmi uh, and came up with the idea um, and I, I, I suggested to them, can you produce a book which is on par with manuals published in other jurisdictions, notably in the Commonwealth? And to my surprise, I have done it. This, this is an admirable uh, uh, handbook. Yeah? Now, throughout our parliamentary history here, we have not had a guidebook like this. Yeah? The only book which can be termed as a guidebook was published in 1969. Imagine that, 1969. 
Uh, it's a small book, but it's not meant to be a manual for legislators. It's more a descriptive account of parliament, yeah? a very general book. Since 1969, no one has thought it fit to produce something more substantial. We've had numerous speakers writing their own, I suppose, autobiography, <laughs> anecdotal style and so on. We have one tracing the history of parliament and institutions. But nothing uh, has been produced in relation to the procedures and practices of parliament. So I applaud yeah, the co-authors for at least producing this book um, as a first step in our overall reform in this uh, area of increasing knowledge uh, to ensure that parliamentary affairs are given serious attention um, for all alike, not merely for legislators, for our MPs, but if we cast the, the net in a further um, field. Now, specifically, the purpose of this panel is to provide MPs with wide-ranging, informative and instructional guidelines on the existing standing orders of the Dewan Rakyat. And we feel that it will benefit any new MP who comes to Parliament. You know, they can just pick up this book and uh, learn the tools of the trade. It's written in a very thematic style, very easy to read. Um, makes good bedtime reading too. <laughs> <laughs> um, because if you want to learn about procedure and pick up a skin may, immediately it will put you to sleep. Yeah? <laughs> but this is a very, very friendly kind of, yeah? uh, book. Now, I am also optimistic that this, this guidebook can be a great source of reference for civil servants who work closely with parliament, parliamentary officers as well, obviously, they, I think they will find it very useful. And um, may even provide guidance to ministers, past and present and future. Yeah? Um, and of course, civil servants yeah? Yeah, in the various ministries. And not to forget, students, the interested members of the public, yeah? who will want to know, you know what are the terms that we use, What's the exact meaning of those terms? What legislative procedure is, is like? You know, what is a motion? You know, what is the function of a motion? What that, all that sort of things is in there. Yeah? You know, right? Now, the information contained in this book is, of course, and we cannot expect the book to be exhaustive. Um, yeah, the hope is that it will serve as a quick reference and a guide to other sources of information. It's practical in nature. And this is where I come to this. It will also be included in this forthcoming book or publication, uh, available in July 2020, because it's a big book. So <laughs> we need a bit of time. The manuscript is completely done, uh, but it will have to be revised in view of current developments and so on. Um, but uh, it's done. Yeah, uh, we have a little bit of editing work to be done, you know, f typesetting and formatting. So I'm hopeful that it will be out in July. Yeah? This is a book I highly recommend to everyone yeah? uh, because it is not quite a skin may. It's like a skin, a skin may, but it's more than that. It is a d dynamic treatment of the political process in, in, in Malaysia so far as it pertains to parliamentary affairs. Now, it, it, you'll find everything there. Yeah? Illustrations of uh, the processes and so on and so forth. Eh? Yeah? And anecdotal evidence and, or rulings. Uh, to the best that we can, we have combined in one comprehensive, we hope, textbook. Yeah? which will be updated from time to time. This is written not only by uh, our officers in parliament, yeah? But we have also chapters written by outsiders, outside contributors. Um, people like uh, Professor Shah Farooqi, Professor oh, Dr. Gudia Singh, uh, Ambiga, who's here, she's written a chapter on caretaker government. You know? And we've got Farid Sofian from UIA writing on 
international relations, treaties, so far as it pertains to parliamentary affairs, there are lots of new things. Vote of confidence, vote of no confidence, it's covered in one you know, comprehensive chapter. So if you have an issue arising in, uh, in Malaysia, find the relevant pages, hopefully it will provide an answer. Or if not an answer, it can provide an understanding as to the nature of the problem. Yeah? So, all right. Um, we've embarked on this project, not merely you know, to assist legislators, if they like to read it, but you know, it's more really to educate or to inform the general public, students, you know, professors, at all levels, uh, so that we can stir an interest in parliamentary affairs. So we begin with that, and perhaps we move to this, and later on, there'll be more and more research and uh, writings on parliamentary affairs. Now, I'm very glad, very, very glad to, to have uh, YB Shohaiza and Kayat here uh, from one of the legislative assemblies in Malaysia. Uh, because almost all the standing orders of the states have this uh, umbrella provision that in the case of uh, a lacuna, they refer to the practice and yeah, the rules and practices of the Dewan Rakyat. So it is not only for us in Dewan Rakyat, it's also for the whole country. So, so this book, I think we will in distribute to all the speakers of the various states. Uh, regardless of denomination, eh? yeah. so <laughs> so it's a short speech. I say short speech, so I can't make, make it too long. So I conclude my remarks here. Again, I would like to express uh, my deep gratitude um, to the authors, to Datuk Rosmi Hamza, uh, and the office in Bahagian Urusan Dewan. They also did a lot of work checking it and so on and so forth. Of course, Speaker's Office eh, as well. And to the small number of MPs who contributed. Eh? Yeah? Um, to make eh, the project what it is today. Yeah? Um, so with that, um, thank you again to everyone here. I expected only about 30 to turn up, eh, but I think we have a pretty decent crowd today. Eh? So that's all, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Speaker. Next, I would like to invite Ms. Lena Henry, Program Coordinator, National Democratic Institute, to deliver her speech. Please welcome. Good evening, His Excellency Tan Sri Mohammad Arif, the Speaker of the Dewan Rakyat, and uh, Honourable Datuk Rashid bin uh, Asnon, Deputy Speaker of the Dewan Rakyat, Yamat Mulia, Tunku Zain Al Bidin, Founding President of Ideas, Her Excellency Maria Castillo, Ambassador of the European Union Delegation to Malaysia, Honourable Suaizan bin Kayat, Speaker of the Johor Legislative Assembly, Honourable Amin Ahmad, the chair of the Young MP Caucus, Tuan Ridwan, sec, uh, the new secretary of the Dewan Rakyat, Mr. Gerald Joseph, the vice chair of the Human Rights Commission, SWACAM, and all other commissioners who are present here. We have full house except for the chair of the SWACAM who is not present today. And um, civil society leaders and representatives, representatives from embassies, and all other distinguished guests. Thank you for coming tonight. As for the speaker, I also did not expect to have a full house, but thank you. And thank you for YB Amin and um, YB Rashid for being here as, mem as MPs because this guide was targeted towards MPs. While it is easy to become focused on the outcomes and the chaosness of politics that's happening in our country now, in many respects, there could not be a better moment to focus on the norms, processes, 
institutions that make up democracy and the increasing effort required to make democracy work effectively. It is therefore a special honor to be here at the invitation of the speaker, who is the perfect embodiment of the commitment required to move democracy forward. We actually owe a debt to his openness and willingness to work alongside organizations like NDI to support parliamentary reform in Malaysia. All of us gathered here, or the speaker, profound congratulations as well. In two short years, he has made great strides to turn the Malaysian parliament and hope to turn it into a world-class institution. The list of reforms he has led is a long one and hopes to lead on many more reforms that will help. He championed the development of Parliament Select Committees to bring greater oversight and accountability to almost all facets of the government, including the internal functioning of Parliament itself. He has also overseen the creation of all party parliamentary groups to bring together government, opposition, experts, civil society and local communities to openly and transparently address the most pressing challenges facing Malaysia, such as progress towards meeting the Sustainable Development Goals. He has also shown a deep commitment to transparency and ensuring that Parliament is an open 21st century body that works for ordinary citizens through the upgrading of online portals, mobile apps, such as this event, which is being live streamed now in the parliamentary Facebook. And to also ensure access to the parliament is not a sole province of special interest and well-connected people, but for the general public. His commitment to democracy and parliament as an institution transcends party and faction. We would therefore not be happier to make a small contribution to the parliament and the legacy of many across the political spectrum who have contributed to the parliamentary reform. NDI's work to support parliament began a year ago and in the process we have supported MPs, civil society to engage with one another on reform, conducted capacity building workshops and at the request of the speaker developed this guidebook to parliamentary procedures. We hope these are first steps and hope to continue working with Parliament to strengthen democratic norms and institutions that represent the wishes of ordinary citizens. This guide, as you can see, titled Malaysian Parliamentary Procedures, a guide to the standing orders of the Day One Riot, provides a thematic summary of the main standing orders and intends to assist members of the House in the proper application of the House rules and procedures, as the speaker has mentioned earlier. The authors of the book has also tried to their best to summarize the standing orders, use concise language and easy to read format. For this, I would like to thank the authors, the co-author, Mahabalakrishnan, who is here, and Monique Smith, who could not be here today, but she is here with us in spirit. And I think she has a message for us, which Maha will include in a speech later. I would also like to thank the previous Secretary of the House, Dr. Rosmi and her team, in providing invaluable assistance in finalizing the guide, and also YB Noramin uh, Ahmad, Chair of the Young MP Caucus, YB Dato Sri Dr. Aji Wan Junaidi, for providing comments and feedback during the process of writing the guide. And also a special thank you to some of the MPs who were part of the research process before we started writing the guide. While it is a modest step and upheaval and confusion of the past week has shown how important it is to work constantly and intentionally to clarify and strengthen parliamentary processes and the rule of law, we hope to continue work with the speaker, MPs and parliamentary bodies to ensure a parliament that is effective and efficient and has access to both local, international resources and expertise such as of these guides to talented authors. NDI's motto is working for democracy and making democracy work. It recognizes that democracy is not just a form of government, but an ideal worth striving for and a process that is never completed. Since the 1980s, NDI has supported local stakeholders in 156 countries and territories to make democracy work. We partner with parliamentarians to strengthen committees and processes, as well as to develop research functions and sound policy development via parliamentary institutes. 
We also work with staff and MPs alike to engage with citizens and constituencies to have accountability and transparency. In the past week and the past two years have been full of unprecedented firsts in Malaysia's history that have tested commitments and democratic norms and principles, even the law itself. As in every democracy, there will be further tests to come and challenges to meet. However, the mark of success for democracy is not the victory of any party or coalition, but the triumph of norms, processes and institutions that fairly and transparently represent and respond to the will of the people. NDI stands ready to support all sides from government to opposition, from MPs to citizens, to work for better democracy in Malaysia. Thank you. guests. Monique clear, uh, very dearly wished to be here to celebrate the launch of our guide, uh, but was unfortunately unable to do so. So I say these words on her behalf as well as mine. When we were separately approached by NDI to undertake this project, neither of us hesitated. We immediately saw the value in this brainchild of the speaker and we were honoured to be given the task. The speaker's vision for the guide was a very clear one, uh, and I'd like to think that we have delivered on it, but we of course could not have done so without the support of the speaker, as well as his staff and the Secretariat of the House. As Lina has uh, said, we are also very grateful to the MPs who took the time to provide their input and helpful suggestions as well as to those who assisted in commenting on early drafts. Most particularly, we are also, of course, indebted to Lena Henry, who coordinated and supported our efforts throughout the entire process. Thank you very much, Lena. So, on to a short description of the guide. Lena has summarized it as well. Uh, it is, as she says, it's a thematic summary of the main standing orders of the Day One Rakyat. The purpose of it really is to assist MPs in understanding how to apply the rules and procedures. What it does not do, uh, and it's not intended to do, is to function as a comprehensive manual on parliamentary practice. Uh, I think this will do that. <laughs> we, did not intend, uh, we did not attempt to uh, interpret or provide commentary on any of the rules. Our purpose was to present a clear description of the rules as they are written using concise language, as Lena says, and e an easy to read format. The objective is to provide MPs with guidance on identifying the standing orders that they need and on navigating procedures of the house. So very briefly, because I, you'll all be getting a copy of uh, the book soon, um, the guide is broken into several themes. It looks at the main, for example, the main presiding officers of the house. It looks at how the business of the house is structured. And then it looks at select pr uh, procedures in the house, like parliamentary questions, motions, um, how to pass a bill, how, to, how a supply bill is passed. We also then look at uh, the relationship of the house to the Senate vis-a-vis uh, -vis passing legislation. We look at select committees, we also look at the rules of debate, and we have also covered a, a relatively unknown procedure called petitions, which to me it should be of special interest to the civil society stakeholders out there. Uh, my own uh, hope is to see procedures such as petitions being used moving forward. This guide apart from being a tool for parliamentarians. It is also intended to serve a larger long-term purpose. And this is something that the speaker alluded to earlier in his speech. Um, it is the fundamental principle of democratizing knowledge. 
Uh, in other words, it is making information on parliamentary procedures more understandable in order to encourage more public engagement in the parliamentary process. And so this guide for that purpose is also for policy advocacy groups, it's for civil society organizations, it's for academics, it's for students and other parties with an interest in the political and policy process. It serves as a primer for those who would like an overview of parliamentary procedure and also to understand what tools and opportunities are there, uh, is available for their participation in the process. And on that basis, it is hoped that this guide can serve to complement capacity building for MPs and other stakeholders. Democracy, as we all know, isn't a destination. It is a process. It is a lifetime commitment that a nation undertakes at birth. It may falter, it may stall, but it must always move in a forward direction. In Malaysia, the Dewan Rakyat was designed to be a platform that takes democracy forward. Over the last two years, year and a half, the Speaker and his team in Parliament have worked tirelessly to transform and strengthen that platform and to make it more inclusive. They have created new mechanisms for MPs to scrutinize the executive and more channels for civil society to be involved. What Parliament has done, it has opens, opened its doors, it has strode forward, it sought knowledge and learning from the best examples across the world, and it has brought that knowledge and learning home. I think more importantly, as Parliament has strengthened, it has also taken its people on that journey. And that includes not just the MPs, but also the staff and officers of Parliament. On behalf of NDI, I look forward to working with you, Tan Sri, and the Day One Rakyat on your journey forward. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Maha, for the very insightful. Next agenda. It is regrettably to inform that due to time constraint, the Q&A session will be cancelled. Distinguished members of the floor, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to a very important part of tonight's ceremony that we are all waiting for. For that, I would like to invite His Excellency Tan Sri Datuk Muhammad Arif Mat Yusuf, Speaker of the Dewan Rakyat, to officiate the launching of the book Malaysian Parliamentary Procedure, A Guide to the Standing Orders of the Dewan Rakyat. I would also like to invite Tuan Ridwan bin Rahmat, Ms. Lena Henry, Ms. Maha Balakrishnan, and Honorable Amin Ahmad to join His Excellency Tan Sri Dato for the book launch.
distinguished members of the floor, guests, ladies and gentlemen, everyone is expected to receive a copy of the book after the ceremony tonight. I would like to extend our gratitude to all for your kind presence and support. With that, I thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good night.